The machine was a burden for no one apart from the people that ran it, tuning out all the necessary prerequisites that wound and bound the dreams and schemes of the waiting public. The masses, crassly, and with no more attention given to it than the fervent rumble of their own marching, requested new versions of this and that and the other. The brotherly, motherly touch of steel and silicon complied. Busted my blues and pinks, the rinks and dinks, the blushes and blinks that brinked the mat, the plaited brown eyes that gazed forth. Time took a gulp of air. Particles that prove no interest to archaeology, geometric bypasses of gases used and transformed, morphed into historic representations. Symbols and signs of things passed and came and raced and chased in patterns, the hallucinatory effects resplendent with any that can imagine, the soul plate grating a better spell and smells rising into diaphanous green. I held her tight, the bright and dappled terrace a perfect place to embrace, a space that that laced as neatly in the grime-washed city. The lights were lowered, and the towers scant silhouettes in the race against nothing at all. Proof there was never any needed. The greed was an illicit and ready drug. The thuggish and perpetual clamor, the hammer to chime in the foolish, the mindless wreckage easily navigated. We choose a better path, a more useful way to be an unchallenged harmony. Then, let it go for a fresh and tidal paradigm, blooming into summers that interplay the season to be. Broken wings fixed by realization.